Well, let's get this started. So, first of all, thank you for everyone watching. This is the sixth live stream for my Hexit Plus modded Minecraft adventure survival series that I've done. I do have a few objectives written down now. And if you've been listening to, well, if you've been watching the first few episodes, you may have noticed that I have been tinkering with the um, microphone input trying to find sort of a you know an optimal setting um, I have the microphone in a new location right now I'm hoping that it will pick up uh, more clarity in my voice and less clicking from the keyboard and the mouse but I just don't know um, I'll keep experimenting until I find something that is the best but we'll see it's it's more difficult than I thought to get a really nice, clear, crisp sounding uh, voice recording. So in this um, live stream, I've written down the objectives. I want to start farming potatoes because we picked up potatoes. Um, I believe we also picked up carrots. So I, I want to start farming carrots as well. So let me go ahead and here's carrots and here are potatoes. Um, I suppose I will need to make a hoe as well. No problem there. Um, I would also like to add a potions area to the upstairs, um, or the, the top level. <clears throat> Excuse me, the current top level of the house. I, I don't know if it's going to be an offshoot of the library, or if it's, you know, maybe this uh, sort of wing here can have two sections you know one that juts out this way and one that juts out this way the I don't know I'm not, I'm not too particular to be honest I also want to go and collect uh, all any and all of the obsidian that we need to finish the um, various uh, the scale the hexit scale armor and I also want to go and find the um, hex hibiscus or the hexical essences flowers so that we can also, again, finish the scale armor. I think we need four, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll collect as many as we can find. And then, assuming we haven't hit the, you know, an hour, 90 minutes or so, um, then we will send the minions down into the mine and watch them strip mine for us, and we'll just sit there while they do all the work and bring us all of the lovely resources, particularly uh, more rubies, which I would really very much like to have. So first things first, uh, let's go ahead and I have potatoes and carrots here uh, in my inventory. So let's make a tool, a farming tool, otherwise known as a hoe. So let's see what material we might want to make. Yes, yeah, so this hexical diamond here that we haven't used yet confirms that we really just need four hexagal essences before we can complete the hexit uh, scale armor. So that should be good. Um, we'll just collect a bit of obsidian. But I'm trying to decide which, you know, what type of tool I want to make. I mean, we have a surplus of diamond, a surplus of emerald. We have no rubies remaining. We'll use both of them on the sword here. Um, I don't know. Let's try making an emerald hoe. I don't uh, know if that's a thing, but let's try it anyway. I think it's a thing. I don't... I honestly don't know, but we're going to try, so... There we are. And... An emerald hoe. Alright, that's probably way more... You know, it's, it's probably a lot more... Um, durability than we're ever going to need, but hey, you know, why not? Okay, so I believe it's either nighttime or it's storming outside or both. It is nighttime. Alright, so I'm going to go and sleep off the night and then take out whatever enemies have spawned and are still around and then we can get to work on the new additions to the farm. So we could go down the waterfall. Let's not, just in case we get snuck up on by a creeper. And I'm not quick enough on the trigger to take him out. Okay, so far we look okay. Hmm. 
Well, let's make our way around to the back and just see what's lurking here to surprise us. Um, so far, I still don't see anything. Which uh, is just fine. So, sure, why not? Okay, um, so where do we want to farm our potatoes and our carrots? Um, and while we're at it, we might as well go ahead and plant more of the top. So, how do we. I. Um, I can't remember how to convert cotton into cotton seeds. So, I, I don't. Okay, well, keep going there, little cotton plants. It's, I very much appreciate it. Alright, so one option is to sort of dig into the hillside over there and drop the water level down one. Uh, so, I have a, a viewer request. Uh, my new sword is a ruby sword. Um, ruby, unlike most of the ores that can be found in the Hexit pack and the ore spawn and the other mods that I've incorporated, ruby is not affected by the same spawning rules, so you really do have to be down close to bedrock in order to find it. This particular sword here cost uh, two rubies to make. Here it is, and has a base damage of about 20, and I went ahead and enchanted it with sharpness 5, looting 3, and then breaking 3, because the uh, better inch... What? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What the... Dang it. Well, good thing we're out here <laughs> working in the garden. Okay, so I was just... Uh, let me finish. Um... The interesting thing about the ruby sword and the emerald, the ruby and the emerald items, neither are actually, um, it's very, very cheap to add pretty much whatever enchantments you want to the ruby and the emerald items because both are a function of the ore spawn mods, the ore spawn mod, and... I lost track of what I was talking about. They're not meant to be... The items that you craft from rubies and emeralds are not meant to be repaired in the... Enchanting table, but, you know, it, it could be loose. Alright, so let me place the pumpkins that I let the people destroy here. Uh, let me replace some of the dirt. Are. And screwed up the melons too, didn't we? Also, I realized that in a recent episode I was incorrect. I made a statement that I collected a whole bunch of melons and said we hadn't found any melons before. That, of course, is not true. When we have melons here, I just simply forgot. So, go ahead and read. Uh, oh my, there we go trying to plant them in the wrong spot. So that's fine. So what I was getting at a minute ago is we can plant carrots and potatoes if we... Hmm, I don't really want to go any closer to the house. So the enchanted ruby sword now typically does damage in the high 20s. And I believe the Diamond Giant Sword that's enchanted as well typically does damage in the high teens and low twenties. So the Ruby Sword does deal more damage than the Diamond Giant Sword. Which is pretty neat. It doesn't do as much as a Jerry Sword would. It doesn't do as much as the Ultimate Sword. Um, but I again have discussed my new approach to using the ultimate weapons um, and items once I find nine of each uh, material required meaning titanium and uranium 
um, then it will be as if I had found nine ing uh, nuggets of each, rather than just basically an orspawn 1.5.2. It's 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 too easy to make crazy overpowered items, and so to compensate for that, I'm just going to force myself to not use them until I have essentially collected enough, collected the same amount I would need if we were playing or spawn uh, 1.6.2 and beyond. So I think that makes sense. And I think that's fair, especially because in some of the dimensions, particularly the red ant dimension, we're going to find some like dinosaurs and it's not going to be as easy as things in the overworld, so it will be very nice to have it uh, available if we need it, so I myself am hungry. Farming apparently takes a lot out of my, uh, out of my health here. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to clear space to make sort of an extension of the melon and pumpkin farm, um, farming road that we have right now. So I'm going to clear a bunch of this out and I'll put dirt down. And once I'm ready, I will mine out this block right here. And since water source blocks travel eight blocks in, um, in the same direction, since it's already traveling eight, if I mine this out, it'll drop down and it'll travel another eight. So I can put the I can put the potato and carrot farm there, and that would be just fine. But I do want to get all the cobblestone and stone out of the way and put down the dirt before we get to that. So um, this should pretty much be far enough. Okay, so. an interesting comment um, from one of the viewers about how loud it is when a nearby bird makes the squawking noise and it's something I hadn't really thought about it's a lot easier for me to control the relative um, audio output levels when I'm you know recording for an episode and it's not live streaming it's not quite as easy for me to control the volume levels um, when I'm, you know, like right now, not really. It's, it's something I'll have to look into. That's all I'm trying to say. Right, so let's go ahead and fill in as much dirt here as we can. I think that should do it. Now if we mine this out and we have the water going down there, that appears to be just perfect. So let's get this out of the way and return the potatoes to my hand. And now I don't know, everyone's going to laugh, if I can just plant carrots themselves. I don't, I don't know how to plant. Well, okay, so I think the first logical approach would be to till the land. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, here we are, and look at that, carrots. Nice, very nice. Uh, I'm gonna continue to till everything here until, well that worked out just fine, didn't it? Oh, except that I guess I can't plant a carrot on a block on which I'm standing. Well, doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and assume the same thing is gonna be true for the potatoes. Let's uh, see if we can, hey, yay, planting potatoes, yes, nice, nice. And uh, we're going to need to put some torches down because it's, it's too dark in here. All right, that should do it. Okay, so our farm has grown. I somehow messed this up, but there we are. Okay, I am happy with that. I think while we are here, 
I will go ahead and um, go ahead and harvest everything that has already grown. Let me get my axe back. This way the pumpkin stems can continue to create new pumpkins and in the same fashion melon stems can continue to create new melons. Oh that's interesting. So it doesn't look like yeah so a hatchet is not any faster on melons than the fist, which is interesting. So okay. Now I, I've seen some videos recently where whoa that was fast. I've seen some videos recently where people seem to believe that for a melon to pop on, you know, to grow, or a pumpkin to grow, that the neighboring patches of land have to be tilled. I really don't think that's the case, so I'm going to leave the majority of these untilled and just uh, see what happens. Also, it's nighttime and I think I hear mobs, so I'm going to get out of here. Oops. Dang it. Well. Hang on. Um, I think we're safe for now. So destroying the plant gives me a lot of cotton seeds. Nice. Thank you for the tip. Alright. Well, so I'm going to scratch that objective off the list here. Farm potatoes. We actually went beyond that. We're farming potatoes and carrots. So that's not bad. Next, I would like to make a potions area. So let's go ahead and clean up our inventory a bit here. Um, did we find any, we found flint that no one wants ever. Um, we found a whole bunch of plants and animals. So let's go ahead and put these away and this, and this technically counts as food, but the cotton doesn't, so that'll work. Um, so food and food, and we have dirt and cobblestone, which don't go here, they go here, cobblestone, cobblestone, um, marble cobblestone, alright, gravel and dirt, that's food, I meant to go find this chest, um, two ancient dried ocelots, maybe we should, hey, maybe we should, hmm, well, at some point we should go ahead and make pets, like a, you know, a couple of dogs and a couple of kitties. Um, I guess I will hold off on doing that in a live stream, just because it's kind of a cool thing. Um, well, I miss the Colonel too, and Julie, and you, you know. We'll hang out again soon, I'm sure. Okay, so I still have salt ore. Where the heck did I put salt ore? Did I put it in food? Or it's not in ores, is it? I don't, well, it's not, wait, hang on. Um, that's salt, yeah, so I'm gonna add the salt ore there and I'll just, I'll just smelt it some other time. Um, really no big deal. Okay, so for a potions area, we're going to want a potion stand, which is a, a blaze rod and three cobblestone, I think. Wow, that's embarrassing. I can't remember. Um, potions. What? Potion. Hang on. Whoa. Why? Why you know what? Why? Why you know potion stand? What? Maybe it isn't. Um, let's search for stand. There we are. What's it called then? If it's not brewing stand, it's called a brewing stand. Gotcha. Gotcha. Dang it, I'm in cheat mode. Hang on. Um, let me get rid of these things here. Bye bye Let me turn on recipe mode. Boom. Okay. So how do I make this? Yes, I was right. Blaze rod and three cobblestone. I think we have blaze rod from one of the battle towers that we took down. We obviously have more than enough cobblestone. Um, so let's go look at the mob drops chest here and see, bang, we have 42 blaze rods. Holy cow. Wow, so we are not short on blaze rods. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and make this nice. Um, hmm. What else are we going to want? We're going to want a chest to store potion-related items. Although, wait. Do we already... Did we already put some potions in the enchantment area? I think we did. Yeah. All right, so we'll take these potions out and all of that can stay there, that's fine. Um, okay, so let's, hmm, what do we want to do? Man, I don't need this in my inventory. So let's collect from mob drops other items that are commonly used in potions. Um, Ender pearls count. Um, I think some spider eyes count. Um, gunpowder counts. I think it's used to make splash potions. Um, we should get redstone as well because I think it makes the potions last longer. Let's get a couple, well, by a couple, I mean a handful of blaze rods. And I'm sort of, I'm sort of balking at what else we need. Um, we haven't been to the nether yet, but <laughs> Magan. Magma. There's something to be said for magma cream, which is blaze powder and slime balls. Okay, so that's that's the glaring obvious one that I was missing here. So we'll grab half the stack of slime balls. And now let's also get some redstone, which should be right here. And we have, I could take the full stack because right here we have 41 blocks of redstone. So that's 41 times nine pieces of redstone, which is 369 which is a lot so we don't uh, we're not short there okay so in the tools hopefully we will find a spare chest and I don't believe that there is so we need to go make one shouldn't be a problem we have a surplus of wood in fact why don't we just go ahead and make eight chests so let's go ahead and do this here Bang. Okay, so now to actually envision how we want the area. Um, I th well, we're going to want an infinite water source. Oh, we're going to need empty glass vials. So, I also don't remember how to do this. Um, those are not, um, are they flasks? It's, they're, they're called glass something. Bottles? Of course, it's just glass bottles. Um, it is three clear or regular glass in that sort of fashion here. So uh, let's go back to the time is going to be in the glass. Is either going to be in tools or miscellaneous? That's mob drops, not miscellaneous. So that's wood. This is miscellaneous. And we do not have any glass blocks. We do have some empty glass bottles though. Fancy that. Um, a free armor stand. Cool. And by free, I mean we killed something previously that yielded us a new armor stand. Um, oh, wait. Hang on. Do I have backpacks full of stuff, or did I clear them out already? I think I cleared them out. I don't... Yeah, that one's empty, and then this one, empty. Whew! All right. Not that it's a big deal. A live stream is a perfect time to arrange inventory, but I honestly want to do other things than <laughs> arrange inventory right now. Oh, so this is new. I'll have to show this in an Oh, it's not new. Dang it. Forget that. Um, so I started to say, what sort of area do we want for the potions area? And we do want an infinite water source, which is going to be pretty easy because our bronze bucket holds three water source blocks. Um, I guess we'll need more wood to uh, build out the area here. So, yeah, I think this will be, hmm, hmm, I don't actually, you know, what if we put it in this corner over here? Is it going to interfere with the farm? It is not. So, yeah, what if we put it over here? Uh, go ahead and add on to this. And just 
expand some more. And there we go. Alright. Um, and then at some point, you're going to... No one saw that. At some point, we're going to want to confine the entrance to this area because we don't want it to consume, you know, something that's just way too, you know, we don't want to waste any space, is what I'm trying to say. So let's clear some of these leaves out of here. Alright, and let's think, um, hmm. We want some lights, and it really doesn't have to be that much bigger than this, to be honest, because there's not, there's not a lot to a, uh, a potions or brewing area, so... I guess, why don't we just go ahead and close it off? You know, it really doesn't have to be any fancier than this right here, so... Yeah, um... Except for the infinite water source, which I did not consider until just now. Uh, Alright, so let's think this through. Let's see here, I don't need this right now, or this. Uh, I might need this, so let's go ahead and bring down these things. Let's think about where exactly we want this to go. The potion stand should be... Oh, I think... Hmm, maybe... No, we'll make do. I think the potion stand should be right in the center. It's sort of the main reason that we're building this whole section here. And then... I think we can... Hmm... And perhaps we can... Hmm trying to decide. I want to put down two chests, I think. Two regular, um, small size chests. I don't know where it would be best. Uh, it doesn't matter, and of course I can always move it, so... Maybe... Hmm. You know, maybe, um... Uh, chest on this side, filled with items we might want or need for brewing potions, and maybe on this side, the infinite water source. So how do I want to do this? It can be a 2x2, two two, or it can be a 3x1, or anything greater than both of those dimensions. So let me think. Well, the thinking didn't didn't exactly help. Um, hmm. it shouldn't be this hard. So let's assume we want a three by one space, and let's assume. Uh, yeah, I need to go ahead and take these out. I think, and let's put these down here. Um, and actually, let's, you know what, let's put down a couple more, and then just back, and now let's build out the frame for the infinite water source, um, so this is going to suffice, I think. Um, yeah, I guess, I have done this before, I don't know, I don't know why it's being such a challenge for me right now, it's just, you know, if we want to, I'm trying to envision if we want to come over here and fill a, a bottle, how exactly do we want to go about it, we just want to be able to walk right here and, you know, fill it up, so... Although we could just jump and then fill it up from here. Well, okay then, so maybe we take this one out and we put this one down and we put this one down. Um, and maybe we take these down so that we can still have our window from the enchantment area there. 
Uh, and if we put this here, and this has become unnecessary, um, and then we just continue the structure here. Okay, I think this will suffice. So let's light everything up just in case, and let's go ahead and put down a source block here and a source block there. Now we should be able to just fill up our water bottles as much as we want. Not only that, but we should be able to, yes. So we had three water source blocks in our copper bucket. We put two down, they flowed together to create a third water source, which means anytime we remove the middle, they're gonna flow together again and make another source block. So now we have an infinite water pool right here. I do want to be careful though, because now we have a direct path from these trees here where mobs could potentially spawn um, and then just hop right down into our house. So, um, you know, I think I'm just going to leave it and then I guess, I don't know, do I want to leave it and then deal with it if it becomes a problem? I don't... So many decisions to make, and it matters so little, except that I get really OCD sometimes, so... Huh. Um... Yeah. Well... Alright, I've made my decision. No, 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 don't freeze. Okay. That was bad. Um, we are still actually doing great in terms of crap. <laughs> Not in terms of crap, in terms of... There we are. I'm sorry, trees. I'm gonna have to take you down. Ow, that's rude. Um, Alright, well... Oh, here's an idea. Maybe... There's no, like, logical reason for doing this. I just think it'd be cool to have as few source blocks as, of water as possible controlling, like, everything. So right now we have um, three source blocks that are up in the master bedroom feeding our entire farm. I wonder if this one here, I wonder if I can make a path down so that it becomes our waterfall down to the beginning of the mines. That could be pretty cool. I don't actually know if that would work. Uh, we'll, we'll table it for now. Okay, so I took out one of the trees, and I'm sorry, other tree, but you are, you are gone as well. Oh, no, 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 I had forgotten that I used that, tr the, the tree as part of the live, the, oh, that's lame. Well, I still think it was the right choice, even though it's, makes me a little bit sad. Well, so now we have to go repair the enchantment area. I heard that. Who just took damage? No, stop freezing. What the heck? Alright, um... Well, this is pretty simple, I guess. Um, I can put these things... Yeah, this should be... Okay, done. Still looks nice. Was better when we were coexisting with the vegetation, but not going to complain. And why have I not made this symmetrical? I don't know. That looks much better. Um, this is also not symmetrical. Of course, I did this so that I could perform, you know, routine maintenance on the top of the master bedroom, um, which is unnecessary now, so... Whoa, hey, is that, is that right? Um, does everything, dang it, it doesn't. Although I sort of like that one hanging off the edge there. So if it doesn't look too out of place with the potions area. Crap. Yeah, you know what? The potions area, it just, it looks like an afterthought, doesn't it? Huh. Alright, well, maybe I'm not on my best creative game right now. Um, so I will at least go ahead and make the master bedroom 
symmetrical, which is good all except for this crafting table here, um, which I would like to put, heck, I don't know, anywhere that isn't right there. So let's go ahead and return these items to the potions chest and call that good and scratch it off the list. Okay. So I also wanted to look into, you know, now that we have a nice armory, I wanted to look into ways to display the various weapons that we collect and craft. And I know there are at least two options. One being display cases from Bibliocraft. The other being just standard item frames from vanilla Minecraft. Um, I don't actually know which I would prefer. So, like I said a second ago, we have this armory set up here uh, with, you know, the beginnings of full sets of armor that I, I want all of them, to be honest. I want all the sets of armor. But I think it'd be cool, maybe along this wall, or maybe further down this way, we can mine out some more of this mountain here, um, to display the various tools and weapons that we craft, especially the rarer items. Um, so why don't we take a look here. Let's look at a display case. How did I do that wrong? Case? Here we are. Uh, maybe it's, what's it called? Birch, it's just called a case. Okay, so bookcase. How do we make bookcase? That's pretty straightforward. How do we make these oak cases? We need, okay, that's not bad. We need half slabs, wool, and glass. Why don't we try making one of, the, one of these? Encased smoker, encased fire jet, encased tower wood. These are all Twilight Forest items that we don't actually know it much about right now so why don't we go try and make a display case just one and we will put um, we'll put our ruby sword in there I'm assuming we can get it back from the display case I don't really see you know what is an issue though I ran into this a minute ago and I meant to address it but I forgot we're out of glass blocks and I think we're also out of sand nope we have two sand all right almost out then so um do any of these have coal of course not what about these over here no no dang it all right so i need a piece of coal i actually would prefer one quarter of a piece of coal but you know not exactly an option um okay while that's cooking let's go find some wool and i'm not going to be picky about the color because whatever color the wool is is going to serve as the outline for the uh that's why is i oh because it looks just like wool all right i'm gonna take the iron out of the plants and animals chest clearly does not belong there um what do we have the largest quantity of it could be the lime wool um no it's definitely the whoa wait we want the red wool i think for the thief's armor okay lime wool it is bang all right so our uh, all right so the glass is done and to use up the coal i'm going to put some salt ore there uh okay so now we need half slabs um and i think they're made like this and we don't need nearly that many that will suffice for now um, I think we need seven in total, so let's do this here, and this, and then it was wool, that's iron, uh, it was wool in the middle, yes? Uh, no. Okay. Um, no. Wait, does it have to be oak slabs? Because that would be lame. Um, what have I done wrong? Oh, okay. So yes, it has to be oak or spruce or birch or jungle. <sighs> All right, fine. 
fine, fine. Be that way if you must. Let's go ahead and put these slabs back because obviously we are never going to use them. Well, that's, I shouldn't say never. Dang it, I almost put the iron back in the plants and animals chest. Right here we are. Perhaps I can craft like, um, let's look at the reinforced chests again. Wow. Look at all these things. This, these are cool. Man, I really want to get started on Tinker's Construct. I'm going to have to address that in an episode, though, and for good reason. Um, what I'm wondering is, so we've made several reinforced iron chests. What if we make reinforced diamond chests? At least it will be a way for me to, I don't know if it gives you more storage. I think it gives you more resistance to explosions from creepers. Um, but also it will be outlined in a different color. You know, the diamond color as opposed to the iron color which may help me in recognizing which chest is which, given that they're perfectly mirrored on one side of the structure from one another, so. Anyway, um, okay, so I guess what we found out is we're gonna have to go harvest um, some vanilla tree, oak, spruce, birch or jungle all will work so let me see what we can see here um, aside from mobs who surely have spawned um, can we make a shortcut from here I don't think so but we'll try anyway ouch yeah so we're gonna count that as a complete failure Oh well, happens. And of course I don't have the Freezerite boots with me. It's fine, they were starting to annoy me after all. I have no idea how your username just changed. Um. First of all, that's freaking cool that Julie is out and being social, but you went from Sazy Face to Sazy Knight? You know, I wish I could take credit for that because that's actually kind of cool, um, but I, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. All right, so we've taken out a spruce tree. Um, we do have saplings here, so let's replant those because I don't want to... Ooh, we have other saplings as well. Yeah, let's replant these. I want this biome to stay looking just awesome and colorful and full of life, so... Yeah, all right. Well, um, so we have 15 spruce wood logs. So we can go ahead and convert those to planks and then on to half slabs and then craft our display case and then see if we uh well we'll try and put our sword in there and we'll just we'll see how that looks so yeah okay here we are uh, why don't we i think that will suffice for now um and then here and then yes and then seven around here like upside down pants and then glass and then wool no no why is it wrong again what the what case why 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 you do this why you do this i got a picture i got a picture text oh it's julie look at her um, for anyone watching that has no idea what I'm talking about, one of my one of my best friends is online and sent me a picture of her cat who's just adorable, so that makes me happy. So let's figure out what the... I almost said a bad word. Is it... You have to stick with... You have to stick with, like... Simple colors? Like primary colors? No, that's green. Green's not a primary color. But apparently lime does not count. Ugh. Alright, so let's go to the correct chest. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and then let's we'll put the lion wool back. Oh my goodness. Um, well, if I'm not mistaken, we have picked up ink sacks somewhere, and that's black dye anyway. The point being, if we find or craft white wool, we can easily make it black, so there's no reason that we cannot use the black wool for this purpose. Now, for the third time, yes, spruce case, let's do it. Okay, so one of my first questions is, do you put it on the floor, or do you, I guess you wall mount it. So if we put it, oh, you do wall mount it. And I guess, so right clicking it doesn't open it. And do I have to click the, that looks like the latch, do I have to? I guess you have to click it with the item that you wanna, oh. Oh, hang on. Wait, ha, what, why you, what, how, how, how you do this? Display case, how do I put, how do I, I, I can't put anything in here. I don't, how come, why, why not? Not even a vanilla tool like a diamond ax? Um, what about a shovel? No, what, what is going, uh, do I have to shift click? Shift click doesn't do it, shift right click? I don't know if that even exists in actual Minecraft stuff. Um, middle mouse, no. I, um, what? Did I put this down incorrectly? Why? Why? Maybe you can't put tools and weapons in here. Maybe the display case is... Well, what the heck would the display case be for, then? Um, chest plate, maybe? Is it for armor? No? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, but you didn't, oh, okay, so I shift right clicked and it opened and now it closed. Well, how come this didn't work as, uh, how come this, uh, oh, sneak and right click, right, shift and, uh, okay. Well, so now how do I, oh, okay. And then I unsneak to, Well, that's that's kind of cool, I guess. That's it's all right. I wish it was exposed, you know. Like uh, if you imagine like Assassin's Creed Two, and I suppose others of the Assassin's Creed series, you have a, you know, in Montrejoni, you have this armory area that it boldly displays all of your weapons and armor, and that's sort of what I was going for here and. Uh, I don't know if that's going to cut it. So why don't we search for other things? Let's look for stands. What other kinds of stands can we make? Potion stand and then the two armor stands. Okay, we've seen that before. What about if we search for armor? Okay. No, not armor. Crap. Weapons. Weons. Weapons. Nothing. We get nothing for weapons. If we search for weapon, we get diamond sickle sharpening kit oh that could be cool oh what is this with a flint and iron a piece of coal and a piece of smooth stone you can make a sharpening kit does this block that requires like no rare resources actually apply sharpness and efficiency to your items that, I'm gonna have to make a note, that has to go on the list of things that we have to look into. Um, sharpening kit, writing it down. Sharpening kit from Artifice. That could be awesome. Not that experience is uh, hard to come by, but uh, still, yes please. Yes, please. Counterweight. Knockback. Well, you know what? No one likes knockback, so forget it. 
Okay, so we searched for stand, we've searched for weapons. Can we search for what about display? Display gives us nothing. Um, hmm. Um, what about rack? Like a. Okay, so these. Alright, so basically by searching for rack, we found everything that can be made from nether rack. So that's not exactly what I wanted. Another act sign. So this is all tinkers, construct stuff. Um, another act, crack stone. Wait, hang on, hang on. What's this? Spruce tool rack. We have spruce. How you make this? Oh, okay. So eight slabs, one iron. All right, let's try this out. Let's go get, uh, we're going to need more spruce. And then we're going to need a piece of iron. Um, let's get the <laughs> crap. Let's get the iron first. Come on, pick it up. There you go. Yeah, we actually went to the right one. Hooray! All right, so here's a piece of iron. All right, so um, iron in the center, and then nope, we need. Right, I made the uh, I made the planks, not the slabs. Here we are. That's it's more than we needed. Although hopefully this works and we will go ahead and use them. So why? What? Why? It's are you. What? Okay, A spruce tool rack for which the recipe is spruce wood slab. Spruce wood slab. Spruce wood slab. Ironing it. I did that unless I accidentally did. You've got to be kidding me. You st Ugh. How did I do this? All right. So there. Spruce wood planks. Where the heck are my spruce wood? Okay, here we are. Um, there. I can't believe I did that. All right. Then our slabs. Okay, spruce wood slabs, you stupid bibliocraft mod. Just kidding, you're awesome. It's not your fault that I suck. Um, okay, so spruce tool rack. All right, all right. This might be a winner here. Look at this, all right, so let's put this there. Oh, it looks fancy. It looks fancy, so why don't we right click it with a diamond ax, boom. <gasps> and a shovel, boom. Oh, and a pickaxe, wait, not a, not an emerald pickaxe? Oh, yes, an emerald pickaxe. Oh, look, oh, this, this right here, this is winning. This is how you win. Now, um, will it do weapons as well? Hmm, I guess I could search for weapon rack. Yeah. So... First, let's go ahead and try and, and put a weapon. Oh, oh, no way. We are in business. We are in business. We are so in business. Yes. Wow. That, that makes me happy. I did not expect that to go as well as it did. So I'm pretty pumped. I am pretty pumped right now. Okay. Also a redstone book. Uh, can you clarify what you mean by redstone book? All right, I'm crossing up the list that we figured out how to display our tools and weapons. Um, now we need to go collect obsidian. I think, uh, well, we've used, we used nine. So I think in total for the scale armor, we needed 15. And for the uh, nether portal, we needed 10. So in total, we needed 25, and we've already used 9. So now we need 16. Okay, so let me <laughs> take all my items back. Thank you very much. Tool rack, you will stay there, so I do not forget. Um, we do now need to go find a viable source of obsidian. Um, and of course, it's nighttime again. Is it not? Of course it is. It's always nighttime here. Oh, well, 
No, 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 no. Get, come on. This is supposed to be... Uh, perhaps I should redo this just so it could be easier. Well, if you're not going to tell me... Okay, so what's a redstone? Book. Book. Um, here we are. Bookshelf. Book, 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 book. We're in the gym. Bookies, 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 bookies. Book of Carnage? A book containing religious texts and instructions for sacrificial rituals. This Harkin Scythe mod. Whoever made that is an interesting, interesting person. Book of Shadows. Book of Carnage. Necronomicon. I don't have a redstone book. What are you talking about, redstone book? Alright, redstone. Redstone volume one by Antonio's bandana. Whoa! Hey! I'm so good at being an author, I didn't even know that I'm an author. Check this out, I wrote this book. Redstone Volume 1. Yeah. I wrote that. I, I, you know what? I don't even need to go in there because I already know exactly what it says. So let's look for this Redstone book. What am I, what am I, why? Fancy Redstone brick. That's cool. Um, secret rest. Okay, I give up. What the hell? How do you do this? Oh, it's that easy? Are you kidding me? Redstone Volume 1. So the red, so that's what you're referring to, right? Um, the audience says in the top left spot, the bookcase emits, the redstone bookcase emits. What the hell are you talking about? What do you mean it's right there? Redstone lamp, redstone ore, torch, lamp, redstone, redstone, repeater, comparator, brick, landmine, landmine, fancy redstone brick, redstone volume one. Rock candy, secret redstone. What? I don't understand. There's something that my viewers understand that I do not, and they're starting to hate me for it. Um, what if I? Is it? Is it a bookcase? Is that what you mean? But no, because these are just oak, spruce, birch, and jungle. What? What? Uh, let me just double check the chat here. What on earth? Yes, yeah, I know. Don't yell at me. What the hell? When this special... It's part of the mod. Also, a redstone book. It was in my inventory. What? A red... Uh, red what the... What? I, I am so confused. Look. Look, this is me. Hanging my head in shame. In my cat in the hat hat. I'm hanging my head in shame. I don't understand. Why I did hang on a sec. Um wait, you sent me in the description. Yeah, but that doesn't help me figure out where the fuck it is. Sorry for the language. In top left spot, the bookcase emits no signal in the bottom right slot. The bookcase emits level 15 signal. Any slot in between will emit that level of redstone, counting the first slot. That's an arrow. Okay, so, folks, what we have learned tonight is I'm really dumb. <laughs> because I still don't understand what the hell is happening. There's nothing here. Redstone block or redstone book. What do you mean? What is it? You know what? It's wiki time. Hang on. Not inventory. Well, you said inventory. How am I supposed to know? I can't read your mind. Hang on. It's wiki time. Um, this is going to screw everything up, isn't it? Safari. Sure. Let's make a new window. Um, why don't we... Oh, no. Peter went to sleep. Dang it. Fine. All right. So I'm on the wiki here. Um, exit wiki redstone book. Redstone book. Exit wiki. All right. I'll bring this on so everyone can see. 
Um, Redstone Book is an item added by Bibliocraft. Oh, so we did that. So it is called Redstone Volume 1. WT fuck. Thank you very much. Um, uses special book displays the bookcase, bookcase, redstone. Okay, so this was copy and pasted into the chat. So that's fine. This article is a stub. This article is a stub. This article is a stub. Three comments. This is going to be good. By giving it a name like secret. Co Wait. By giving it a name like secret code and put it in a bookcase, if someone removes it, a trap activates. Um, no. It sounds useful to map makers to require the book to be placed in the right bookshelf and slot to open a doorway. Okay, well, yeah, for adventure maps, great. It's awesome for this. I actually added a hidden passage in my own house with one of these. All right, so this is apparently well received. Um, I, what, I don't. I don't see how that's helpful though. Anyway, that's that's actually a really, really cool item. Thank you for suggesting it. I don't um, exactly see how, I think it's really cool, especially for, you know, a multiplayer server or adventure maps. Um, I think for now, I'm just gonna skip it. All right. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and put um, tools, chest, display cases, and eh, glass, I suppose. Alright, so let me just uh, check my list. We still need to go get obsidian. And then, yeah. We also need to collect four more hexical essences. So... Depending on how long those two objectives take, um, that may be the end of the live stream when they're done. We obviously still have work to do. So, it's night time and a spider seems to be bothering us with something I don't really care about. Hopefully it'll let me sleep anyway. You know, it actually doesn't matter. The moon's going down. It'll be sun. <laughs> It'll be sun. It'll be daytime. Any other, you know, very soon. It'll be, look at that sunrise. Look at this. This is nice. A nice day in our little, not so little home base. Nice to watch the sunrise. Not bad. And um, my hand is off the mouse right now, which means I'm obviously going to get destroyed by a creeper. Because that's just the way things happen. <clears throat> well. Alright, so. Zombie with a hat. Zombie with a hat. Zombie with a hat. I need hats. I need the hats. I need the hats. And I do not remember what the... Hmm, how to change the hats. Did I make it H? No. Did I make it Y? Yes, I did. Apple hat. Bane mask. Breadfish cake cap. Um... Eh. Cat in the hat? No. Cheese. Nope. Not a Packers fan. Chest. Uh... I guess. Halo. Computer, Dalek, Ender Chest, Face Hugger, that's weird. Fez, Sideways Fez, Flying Pig, yep, Flying Pig it is. That's a keeper. That's a keeper right there. Okay. Hello, zombie. Hey, what you got? No. You got a jar of brain hat. Okay. That sounds gross. That sounds gross. Alrighty. Um, so, you know what? Because we're going to be traversing... Traversing? 
because we are going to be traversing water, um, I want to find and use some piece of freezerite armor. So right now we have meteorite helmet and everything else is diamond. And I, I honestly don't remember what happened to my uh, freezerite boots, but we have 30 levels, which is, I, I kind of believe that's enough to fully repair our freezerite leggings in an enchantment table. Repair cost uh, one. Yeah. Yeah, that's enough. So wait, are all the repair, uh, I don't, hmm. I wonder if the better enchantments mod is just bugged completely. Okay, so let's say, what if I wanted to repair my diamond hatchet? Repair costs three. Um, that seems reasonable given it's not, you know, it doesn't have a ton of enchantments and it's like 60% still there. What if I up it to efficiency three and there's nothing beyond efficiency three? Don't freeze. Don't, don't freeze. Don't beat that guy. Efficiency four, efficiency five. Yeah, that sounds good, actually. Definitely. Um, how about unbreaking? Can we get unbreaking one? Can we get two? We cannot. Let's get unbreaking one. Um, repair level. It actually doesn't tell me what the... Anyway, all right. So it looks like for the vanilla items, um, everything is just fine, but for the ruby and emerald and some other items it's a little bit wonky which it's really no big deal all right so really fast because it's a live stream and i'm not pressed for time go ahead and sort out the last few items in the inventory here and of course we do have several um empty backpacks so we are not pressed for space. Hang on, important text message. Give me one second. All right, here we are. So, um, which direction should we head? Oh crap, I did the minions the wrong one. Here we go. Um, so where shall we go? If we head towards a volcano, then we will definitely encounter lava and we can pour water on it to make obsidian. Although this looks like an obsidian pool right there. There's a volcano. This looks like an obsidian pool just to the uh, obsidian pool, a lava pool just to our, just to the, it looks like just to the south of us, there is a pool of lava. Um, Okay, so this is this is part of what I was talking about. Look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I know you can't see the cursor. There are ten underwater cities right here on the map that we're looking at. Just watch the coordinates move. In this area, ten underwater cities. This is why I went and changed the config files, because that that really, really is unreasonable. All right, so let's do this. We're going to run south for a ways, and we're gonna be on the lookout for hexabiscus flowers, which give us hexical essence when we smash them. And we are going to stay away from that dimensional door right now. Um, and then we are going to keep an eye out for a lava pool so that we can lag pour water on it and convert it to obsidian and mine that and take it with us so that next time I film an episode we can complete the scale armor complete the nether portal and visit the nether and I know I've been saying that for like 20 episodes I know um, there's just there's so much to do I mean there's so much to do in Hexit to begin with but when you add in like I have or spawn you know, and a handful of other mods, there's just, 
Millionaire, especially. So Millionaire has a ton of things to do. Or Spawn has a ton of things to do. So you combine the... Ooh. What? You combine those two with Hexit Pack, which has a ton of things to do. You have like three tons of stuff to do, you know? So that logic is flawless. Don't, don't argue with me. That logic is perfect. Um... <sighs> All right, we're still running south. We're more than halfway there. Um, there being what I believe is a relatively um, sea level pool of lava that I would like to convert to obsidian. So as far as I can tell on the mini map, we're headed directly there. Oh, this looks a little bit more complicated than I thought. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. This is indeed more complicated than I thought. So, I, well, I guess we can go to the top here and, um, dump out our water and, you know, a lot of it is going to turn into obsidian. Um, some of it won't, you know, but um, might as well, you know. So, hmm. So I don't know what this is. I don't know if this uh, if this is. I don't think it's better dungeons. I don't. I suppose it could be ruins. I'm trying to attribute the structure to the mod that generated it, and I, I actually don't, I don't know. The volcanoes that we have seen, um, that are generated through the Better Dungeons mod are enormous. And we explored one of these, well, we flew down to the middle and then flew back out without touching anything. One of these volcanoes in, uh, one of my recent live streams, and it's huge, I mean, just a hundred times the size of this structure here, but, oh, don't, be careful, no touchy, let's quickly do this, and boom, all right, here we go, okay, so it looks like I see three lava source blocks, so, oh, crud, here we go, there we go, oh, obsidian, oh, obsidian, stop, stop, stop being rude, stop, I actually hear a whole lot of, uh, fire being put out so I suppose dang it the stupid don't don't no stop oh my gosh so do we have well we have tons and tons and tons of cobblestone but hey look uh, actually let's just double check that this is only one level deep I think it is okay so we need 16 this is gonna give us nine it looks like which will get us more than halfway there Then we will look again on the mini-map for another surface pool of lava that isn't a volcano, because I want the first time that I explore a, 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 vol a volcano, I would like the first time I explore a volcano to be during an episode, uh, which at this point in my YouTube career, the episodes currently get more views than the live streams. Not a complaint, not a complaint whatsoever. Um, but it does seem it's it's something significant that we have not done in an episode yet So I believe the first time that happens We should make it you know it it, it should happen during an episode so Okay, so we're going to continue going south and we're going to bear a little bit west Because here is another lava pool and this one looks quite a bit simpler than the one we've encountered um, I think we've already taken out this structure. I don't I don't know for sure and this village here I think is a yeah based on this field and the lack of yeah this is definitely a millionaire structure of some sort so let's go and let's uh, now that we're gonna have to jeez hang on one sec please um,
some kind words from someone who means a whole lot to me. Much appreciated. Sorry for the distraction. Okay, let's go. Um, south is this way. We're gonna... We're gonna bypass the battle tower for now. Um, because since it's a live stream and we've already done three battle towers, I'm not gonna take it out. Um, the other reason is... I hope everyone has seen the Warp Speed Battle Tower episode because... You know, and, and, and not to, you know, flatter myself, but what happened is I decided to take out a battle tower that was, you know, basically the same looking structure as one we'd already taken out in the episode in the series. And so what I did to save time is I doubled the, the, the playback speed. So it plays at 200% speed. And because I'm using, you know, high quality... Um, editing video editing software it's not bad uh, it preserves my voice and you can hear it pretty clearly and I laugh so hard that I cry and so do so do uh, you know one of my good friends she laughs as hard as well and it's just I'm going to be doing that more often especially when I went to conquer a structure we've already seen in the series I'm just gonna up the speed by twice you know by two times and it's just it's painfully funny in the best way possible it hurts but it's so funny whoa Kazmaia is thought to have started planning a raid on Lakatos well Kazmaia sucks um, you know no offense but we've been there we've conquered them um, I actually meant to pick that up with a bucket but I didn't bummer uh, if I still, I wouldn't really be worried if I were you, because Kazmaia literally has like, oh, um, three villagers, and they're just, don't worry about it. I've killed their entire village, I think, four times now. So, uh, you'll be just fine. All right, Lava. Why you gotta, why you gotta be like this? Why do you have to do this? 14, we're almost there. All right, 15. Thank you, Emerald Enchanted Pickaxe, for being so incredibly fast at mining obsidian. Um, so if you will please forgive me, I think for timing and, you know, stress purposes, I'm just going to teleport back to the house. And I still need to fi <laughs> I still need to fix the height, um, the Y coordinate for this Y, po uh, for this waypoint, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of that another time, so. Alright, so this stream has been going on for a while. It's been about 90 minutes, which is about what I was hoping for. So, I am going to go ahead here and lag some more. Come on, computer, you can do this. I'm going to deposit the obsidian here. Oh, we already had three more. Oh! Well, regardless, we should be pretty set on obsidian and... I guess I would go ahead and convert some of these items into blocks. Um, namely the diamond and the coal and the emeralds that have not yet been converted. Um, so let me just catch everyone up for a second. Um, so yesterday I filmed episodes 24, uh, sorry, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Um, Earlier this evening, I posted episode 26 because it explains, you know, a quick, it quickly explains about the home base. Um, it mentions the like five hours of live streaming that I put in this past weekend. Um, and it will help explain what we're doing in this live stream as well as what we're doing in upcoming episodes. So feel free to check that out. Um, I am actually live streaming directly to YouTube through YouTube Live. Um, I did this wrong somehow. Um, I'm not streaming to Twitch. I will look into it for the future, um, but you know, and don't don't judge me for this. I am a Mac user, and um, 
couple months ago, Twitch TV decided to drop support for the Flash Media Live Encoder, which is a, f I think it's free, but you need it if you're on a Mac to uh, stream. You need that to, there's no call blocks in 1.5 point, dang it. Anyway, the point is, um, without paying 500 bucks for like the premium level of Wirecast, I cannot stream to Twitch. And I've already spent some money on the version I'm currently using to be able to stream to YouTube. So I, I you know, I don't know if at some point the channel becomes, you know, super successful, then perhaps I can afford to invest in a full-fledged version of like Wirecast Studio and then stream to Twitch. But I'm perfectly happy to stream to YouTube right now because everything just gets posted directly to my channel and it's a piece of cake to uh, go ahead and just direct my audience to it and it's just it's just so simple I don't really envy twitch users that much so for the current um, I, I guess for the foreseeable future I'll just be using um, I'll be streaming through YouTube live which I think is great I think is great um, so I guess that's gonna do it for this stream, let me go ahead and mark off. We've collected obsidian. So we actually did pretty well. I had like eight objectives written down and we accomplished six of them. So I'm happy with that. To be honest, I'm I'm plenty happy with that. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, please do leave feedback if you have it. Please do leave a rating. If you would like, please do subscribe. If you want to see more episodes from this series and other series I have planned and other live streams I have going on in the future. Um, and yeah, feel free to come by anytime and just hang out and have a good time. So thanks again. I will see everyone next time.